Gary Lane joins us now. He's not only our senior international reporter, but he also works with a great ministry. It's called Voice of the Martyrs. It's an organization that monitors religious freedom yes. uh, around the world. This is significant. We here at CBN News have been broadcasting this from the day, day one, yeah. in essence. It was big for him, obviously. We'll get to that, but also for religious freedom around the world. Oh, this is huge. I mean, how many times do you hear mm -hmm. of pressure being put on and prayer uh, for pastors like this that are in prison, then all of a sudden they're released? It's and a miracle. You, and it you really get a is. sense that the, the tweets, folks at the ACLJ, CBN News, and other organizations tweeting his name, getting the public officials, not just in the United States, but around the world, uh, activated on this. Well, it's not only being uh, activated in the action, but it's also faith and prayer. Mm -hmm. I think that has a lot to do with it. Many Christians around the world believed if they just got on their knees and they prayed that this pastor would be freed and he would not be executed. Lo and behold, that's what happened. And it's interesting because when we got the first initial reports, we posted these pictures that you are seeing and people on Facebook, on Twitter were saying, yeah. wow, today I believe in the power of prayer. Yes, and that, that's the key. But the pressure is also significant, George, because you know the Iranians. Uh, the Iranians do respond to international pressure. Uh, and they don't want to lose face. They didn't want to lose face with their own people. They didn't want to lose face with the international community. When you look at his picture, I was surprised how, at how good he looked. He looks great, doesn't he? He, did, he really does. Yeah. What's his condition right now? Well, I, let me tell you something. I think he's in relatively good health, mm -hmm. but that's another point to be made about pressure being put on because when someone becomes well-known, when there's notoriety there, then the government says, oh, people know about this guy. We better protect him. We better take good care of him so we don't lose face, so we don't have international condemnation come against us. It's the prisoners that are there in prison that aren't well known, that aren't in public, that the public isn't clamoring to do something about, mm -hmm. that they can do whatever they want with them. Is there concern at this point? Obviously, everybody's relieved he's out. Yeah. Does he face a different kind of threat now that he's out of oh, prison? He, you know what? I. To be honest with you, I think he was safer while he was in prison. Now, there's always a risk of being mistreated by guards sure. and tortured and that kind of thing. But he was relatively cared. To, he had good care there for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, but here's the problem. If you remember, and we reported this at CBN News. I remember doing it back in 1994 when you had Mehdi Dabaj. He was an Assembly of God pastor in Iran mm -hmm. who was arrested and also imprisoned and charged with apostasy. He was freed in January 1994. Three days later, his main advocate, you remember Bishop Hayek Hosepian? Mm -hmm. He was killed. He was abducted and killed. He was found dead. And then six months later, Mehdi Dabaj was found dead in a park in mm -hmm. Tehran. Mm -hmm. So even though he's freed from prison, he's in grave danger because now anyone can do anything against him. And that has happened in the past, so we still need to pray for him. We have about a minute left yes. here. Uh, you, we were talking about other prisoners who today still languish in Iranian yeah. jails. So obviously, the focus has been on Narda Khani, uh, and, and rightfully so, sure. but there are so many others. Oh, there's so many others, and we know of at least 16, 17, 18 Christians mm -hmm. that are still in prison in Iran today. There are probably many others that we don't even know about. But one pastor that we need to pray for is Pastor Bainam. Mm -hmm. Pastor Bainam uh, Irani is 41 years old. He's in prison, and he's in bad health. He suffers from stomach ailments, from bleeding ulcers, that kind of thing. He's not getting the medical attention that he needs. Mm -hmm. We need to be on our knees praying for him and also putting equal amounts of pressure on the Iranian government mm -hmm. to release him. Fantastic. Well, it's a, it's a great day. It was a thrilling day last week to hear this news, and we we're very thankful for and the, the millions of people. Continue, the That's persecution right. continues there. A lot of house churches are, are, are being, uh, there's a big crackdown on them, yeah. as you know. Well, we will try to continue to keep an eye on this. Gary okay, Lane, great. as always, thank you, sir.